Okay. So, as you guys know, I'm moving to Canada. And I uh, have, a, you know, a, a bunch of stuff here. We have, you know, I have four kids and a wife. And uh, I've lived here for 14 years. My wife has lived here for 13 years. And all my kids were born here. So, basically, every single thing we own, obviously, in Korea. Uh, so we're moving across the world to Canada, and, uh, you know, it's like we want to bring some of our stuff. Makes sense. Okay? Yes, and we have a dog, too. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, we were looking in various ways, and my wife uh, contacted a shipping company. Uh, and this is one that has English speakers involved in it. Uh, like, the guy that runs it speaks fluent English and fluent Korean. Um, and so she's talking to him, gets a quote, and we're like, all right, excellent. Okay, so it's like, it's kind of expensive right now to ship uh, in shipping containers across the world. You know, where we're moving to is very far away uh, from Korea. So it's a little bit expensive, but we're like, yeah, we, I mean, we won't bring everything. We'll downsize and just kind of bring stuff that, you know, is important. Things like, you know, the, the Xbox as well. That's like expensive, obviously. Bring some clothes and all this and uh turns out we have a, a fair amount of stuff in our house like i mean obviously you live your whole life for a very long time uh 14 years here and you you accumulate stuff so we've been downsizing a bunch and and boxing it up okay uh so anyways it, 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 this was by cubic meter was what the the measurement was now uh <laughs> we okay i i let me let me preface this. Okay, so I've lived here for 14 years and I have found that it is very often the case that people who speak both English and Korean fluently it has it has oftentimes been the case in my 14 years here that people that do that will target foreigners in a predatory manner. This has happened to me many times. I might tell some stories uh, on stream right before I actually move out of Korea uh, permanently. But it has been, without a doubt, it has happened to me so many times. But I've lived here for a really long time, and I understand Korean a lot better than anyone thinks I do. So uh, I, I spot it all the time. And I fucking, I'm like, nope. Nope. And I'm, you know, you guys know I'm kind of like, uh, I'm loud and I don't give a fuck. So uh, yeah, I stop people dead in their tracks and they're trying to fuck me over, which happens very regularly. Anyways, uh, so this is, the, the deal is, uh, for, by cubic meter, that's what we're paying. It's like a per cubic meter thing. It was like, um, I think, uh, around a thousand bucks for a cubic meter to ship. Okay. So we were trying to get it to five cubic meters approximately to ship. Cause we're like, okay, that's reasonable. We get to bring most of our stuff, you know, or at least everything that really matters. And it's, uh, you know, all that. Um, and so when we end up packing everything and here's the thing, like my wife is very clever about this. She bought boxes that are 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So we could literally make cubic meters so that we would know how much we're packing. Okay? Yeah, no, it's, it's expensive. I know. It's, but oh, the thing is, it's so far away where we're moving it to. This is, it, we're like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll bring some stuff. Now, as we packed up, like, uh, she got boxes where we could literally... Uh, <laughs> guy in the chat knows where this is going. Uh, anyways, so there, <laughs> uh, we got the, we got the boxes so that we could literally know how much shit we're shipping. Right. Uh, and like we had some other boxes that were different sizes for sure. Uh, but you know, this gave us a good estimate. Uh, my estimate is that we actually did go above to about eight cubic, uh, meters of stuff that we had when the mover came. Okay. So the mover comes in and starts doing his job. They only send one mover, by the way, which I thought was, was a little bit weird. And then he is like, this is, this is where the craziness starts. Okay, so this was right before my stream. He came at 8 a.m. yesterday. I start at 9.30. So I was, the stream stuff was ready to go. And I was out there talking and getting stuff ready. My wife was going to supervise all the stuff being moved out. Uh, but this was before. Yes, so uh, 
basically the guy starts going around and he's he's showing us how we're going to do it and you know all this stuff he's like starting to load some stuff up onto a platform to bring out to the truck all this and uh then he starts being like oh wow there's like a lot right this guy's uh mostly the mover himself is mostly a korean speaker but speaks some english so we we had no problem communicating because you know we're mostly english speakers but we speak korean some and so anyways back and forth uh not an issue and then he's going around and he's like going like oh this is this many cubic meters like this area of boxes because we have like areas of the house with boxes all over the place right like there's a bunch of boxes in my kid's bedroom and there's a bunch of boxes in the kitchen and there's a bunch of boxes in the living room and so he's like yeah this is this uh, this is about this many and he's making it clear that he's making an estimate he's like this is about this many cubic and he went around and telling us how many cubic meters he thought everything was and i'm like okay that's that sounds higher than as he's saying the numbers i'm like that sounds higher than what you know what we think it is because we got literally boxes <laughs> to to measure it uh and then he goes all 50 cubic meters which if you were paying attention listening to the math 50 cubic meters would cost fifty thousand dollars which i could literally throw all my shit away buy it again throw it all away again buy it again throw it all away again buy it all throw it all away again buy it all again and i would still have money left over okay like i we do not have anything that costs that much it is not even close okay so i'm like what are you talking about 50 cubic meters of stuff this literally doesn't make sense he's like yeah no it's about it's about 50 cubic meters uh and so i'm like okay tell me how much you think everything is and he goes through again and i add the numbers that he says and it adds to 20 so i'm like he's confusing 50 and 20 in english so i say it in korean i write it on my phone he's like no 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 50 and i'm like the numbers you said add to 20 and you are telling me 50 this doesn't make sense okay and so then my wife and i are like my wife's trying to call the boss that we made the contract with okay and then we start i start pointing stuff i'm like how big is this he's like oh this is one cubic meter and i'm like no i don't think so and so what we do Okay, while we're trying to get a hold of the boss, and this is going to, fuck, man. Anyways, we take the actual boxes that make a cubic meter, okay? We take them and we put them together and we make what is literally a cubic meter. And uh, we ask, we're like, how much is this? And he says it's over two cubic, cubic meters. So he says one cubic meter is over two cubic meters. So I literally take out a tape measure and I show him. And I go, look, meter by meter by meter. It's one cubic meter. And he's like, no, no. And then he shows me half of it. He's like, this is a cubic meter. And I'm like, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not. <laughs> like, the, I measure it. It's not. You're wrong. That's it. You're wrong. It's not. So anyways, we get a hold of the boss, okay, and put him on speakerphone. My wife starts talking to him, and he starts, like, talking. Like, the way he's talking, no, no, no. It's, I can tell immediately that he's a fucking scammer. I haven't spoken to this guy yet, okay? So I take over. This is on speakerphone. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he starts talking about, like, oh, maybe you can downsize a little bit and stuff like this and da 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 and I'm like, hold on, hold on. He's saying there's 50 cubic meters here. And there's not. And the numbers added up to 20 and all this. Okay. And I'm like, look, we literally put together a cubic meter. Okay. Let me show you. This is literally a picture of me that I'm about to show you here. This is me on speakerphone. Okay. Talking to the boss with my stack of cubic meter boxes. This is exactly what I made. And this is me laughing, okay? Because I'm like, what is a cubic meter then? And the guy on the phone, okay, so this guy, like he's such a scammer and you can tell it so clearly because he's talking over me almost the entire time and I'm asking very short, very direct questions, okay? 
and he just won't shut up. And he's like, no, no, no. Well, here's the thing. You got, don't confuse cubic meters with square meters. And I'm like, look, I may not be mathematically inclined. Could you tell me what a cubic meter is? And he's like, oh, I already, I, I, I emailed your wife and, and told her what it was. I'm like, okay, can you email me it then? And he's like, just starts changing the subject. So I'm like, listen, is a cubic meter length times width times height? <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah. And I'm like, okay, hold on, hold on. So one meter by one meter by one meter, one meter tall by one meter long by one meter deep is a cubic meter. He's like, but three, this is what he said. He goes, uh, but, but three meters by three meters by three meters is not three cubic meters. And I'm like, what is fucking going on here? What is going on here? Literally no one said that ever. And so he starts going, no, listen. Okay. So, uh, you know, the Korean post boxes, like the, the size fives, uh, yeah. Like think of those, like put four of those together and that's a cubic meter. And we actually had some of those boxes here because we actually had like just a lot of boxes in general. So my wife goes over and measures them and it's not even close. It's not even close to a cubic meter. It's tiny. It's tiny. And I'm like, no, it's not. That's not true at all. And he keeps talking over me. He's like, oh, do you have a washing machine? I like to talk in washing machines. Like if you look at a washing machine, it has a load of this many cubic. Like, and I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? He is just like trying to railroad me in the conversation the entire time. And I'm like, look, we have to look at this. Why don't you email me what you're trying to fucking say? And then he's like, listen, if you cancel, there's going to be this cancellation fee. You got to, you know, it's going to be several hundred thousand won. Uh, you're going to have to pay for this guy's time and, uh, you know, all this stuff. And I'm like, what are you? I'm like, listen, tell your guy to leave. We're not doing this. Okay. He's like, you're going to have to pay a cancellation fee. I'm like, you just email us about it. Okay. We're not talking anymore. Your guy needs to get out of here. We have shit to do. Okay. So, and this is fucking hilarious too. So we hang up and then he calls his guy who's standing right next to me and he starts yelling at him for estimating 50, uh, cubic, <laughs> cubic meters. He's yelling at the guy for estimating 50 cubic meters because you know, that number is so high that it's like, wait, what? Like if he, if they had been very sneaky and tricky about it, like if they were good at scamming, they would have loaded everything and been like, it's 20 cubic meters. And then we would have had a real fucking argument and they could have overcharged me still because we could have gotten it down to 10 or something. But like, maybe I can, maybe I can believe there's 10. Maybe, maybe. Okay. So he's not even good at scamming anyways. And it, it's fucking crazy. So this happened all right before the stream yesterday. And it's a problem because, uh, you know, my family, we are flying on August 1st. Now, I'll be coming back to Korea, but we need to get our shit shipped out. I, this is not something I'm going to be able to do alone months later. And, you know, and then we are not going to have any clothes and shit. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, yesterday I had to take the stream off. And so here's the thing, too. Like, what we're going to do now, because there's no time to, to fix this. There's no time to schedule a new shipping container or anything like that. Uh, we're going to have to just mail some stuff through the fucking post office to, to Canada. So, and it, the thing is, we have all these boxes, these big boxes, so that we could literally know how much we were shipping so we couldn't get scammed. Big cheers, my wife, for making sure that we were doing that. Uh, and so we had to basically unpack everything, reduce it massively so it can be sent through the mail. Like, we threw out almost everything we own yesterday uh, and repacked into small boxes. So it's like, it, t it dude, I, for 12 hours, we did that yesterday for 12 fucking hours. Yeah. We, we did weight limits and everything. We, we already started mailing the boxes. That's all my wife is doing today is going back and forth with a cart full of boxes to the, to the fucking post office. But, uh, yeah, this is my story. And this is a picture of me laughing at that fucking scammer, uh, a very common thing. Unfortunately, in Korea, people that speak two languages love to be predatory uh, with the non-Koreans. Um, but yeah, man, that was uh, that's why I wasn't on stream yesterday. 